Welcome back everybody, I'm standing here in the Melbourne Remote Control Helicopter Club field. After what I can only imagine would have been a painstakingly slow process of fuselage modelling, painting, mechanical setup, this scale helicopter was ready for its remaiden. You'll agree this scale helicopter does the real helicopter a great deal of justice. Even the skin texture of the fuselage and all of the detail around the cockpit instrumentation has all been taken into consideration. Looking at the Huey 1C up close really blows your mind. If you get down low enough and close enough so that the helicopter fills your complete field of view, you really get a sense of the scale and realism. Now I didn't get a chance to catch up with Jeff about his experience in building this particular scale helicopter. The moment just slipped away as we both seem to be so absorbed with getting the helicopter remade. But don't worry folks, with the Scale Helicopter Funfly just around the corner, I'll be sure to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with Jeff and many of the other Scale Heli modelers to bring you some of the juicy background information in my next video. Maiden didn't seem to go as planned. All systems seemed to go right up until the main blades were spooled up and then, uh, well, the uh, power system seemed to experience a cutout. Now the helicopter is powered by both the receiver pack and a main flight pack. So whilst there was a power cut, operation of the helicopter was maintained as power was still being provided to the helicopter's main control systems and gyro. So that can mean that something isn't quite right between the main flight pack and the motor and all of the connections in between, as well as the throttle cable that connects into the gyro. 
So one of the first things to do is to check for any failing insulation on any of the cabling that could possibly cause shorting with the frame and also to check for any loose connections between the battery connector and the speed controller and also the speed controller and motor and the throttle cable connection to the gyro. So after a quick check the leads all seem to be okay. Now Jeff has a Castle Creations 120HV speed controller installed in this particular scale helicopter. So we'll be able to log in via the speed controller and have a look at all the data and see if we can determine what has caused the cutout. Oh my god, after we logged in and had a closer look at the speed controller settings, we found that the speed controller hasn't actually been set up correctly. It's in its default aeroplane mode, which is typical of the settings you get when you first buy the speed controller and don't do anything with it. We've set fixed endpoints and gone through all of the other settings, including soft cutoff settings, uh, PWM settings, motor timing, and at this stage I think the speed controller is now set up properly. So hopefully now with the correct speed controller settings, we've gotten one step closer to solving why that power system is cutting out. So as you can see, if you've watched carefully, the power cutout is still occurring. So that means it's quite likely to be the speed controller itself. So Jeff's going to be swapping out the speed controller for next time, and hopefully in the next video, we'll have a successful maiden of his Huey 1C. So you guessed the folks, this is where I ask you to leave some comments below about what you think about this video, whether you liked it, and also what you really think about what is causing the power cutout issues on Jeff's scale helicopter. If you agree with my diagnosis, or if you have something else that you think could be contributed to help Jeff's understanding of what's causing the issue. And I'd also really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and also subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button somewhere over here. And uh, look forward to catching you in the next scale fun fly video.